Okay, um, I'm just going to make some glasses too. Uh oh, look at all this stuff. I'm just going to make sure these things are... Let's pop those into a layer. Uh, it's selected. Okay, great. Um, his glasses. I'm just going to go to the front view and I'll just hit F. Um, we'll just zoom in here. Okay, and all I'm going to do to make the glasses is let's go in and use the Create Polygon tool. And I could create something here. Actually, let's do the inside here. I'm just going to go about right there, going counterclockwise as I go. Okay, good enough. Enter. And I'll use the Append Polygon tool. I can append my way down here. Hit G. Okay, these aren't matching exactly, but they're good enough. Um, and I'll do something like this. How about over to here? And say here, here, enter. Okay, good. Um, then I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe I'll pop in a couple of extra loops in here. I could create them all, uh, create all these things like one by one by one, but I'm just trying to, again, always looking for a little bit of a shortcut here and there. Great. I'm just moving these points around. Okay, wonderful. Move these, bring this up. I'm trying to keep this so there's like a nice happy quad in the corner. Keeping quads in the corner. Um, and let's pull this point up. Okay. I'm just going to keep nudging these around, rounding them out. Looks like I got everything in a relatively good shape. Okay, all right. Um, so that's good. Okay, good enough. Okay, and if I grab all the outside edges, and if I just go ahead and I hit my extrude, and I switch and... Uh, what if I pull these out? Something like that. That gives me some thickness. Uh, let's grab this vertice, and I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. Uh, I can use my append again, and I can grow something off the side here like this. I just hit G. Okay, and then I'm going to go over this way. Good. Good enough. Okay, so there's one of my glasses. I'm just going to grab these little vertices here, and I'm just going to snap them to the grid. Okay, those look good. Um, <clears throat> let's kill the history, freeze out my transformation, and then just freeze out. And let's just take a quick look at this. Okay, so I probably want the frames to be separate from the glass. So maybe what I can do at this stage here is just grab all of these uh, faces and I'm just going to go back over here to polygons and I'm going to go into mesh and I'm going to hit extract and I'll just delete the history right away. But now we've got two separate pieces of geometry. Okay, I'm just going to take my glasses here. Oh, by the way, I could have uh, moved these around a little bit and whatever, uh, got myself a better... Uh, Actually, you know what? Before I extract, let's put these together. Boop! Stay there. Let's go in and uh, let's bring our head back for a second. Hmm. And I'm just going to center me pivots. And uh, pull my glasses in front of my face. Okay, and I'm just going to see what happens. I grab, say, these vertices here. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab the side and I'm going to soft select it. And I'll just kind of pull it back a little bit. And then I kind of want it to bubble out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there. I'll say that's something that's good enough here. Okay. And then I'll do that little extraction trick I was going to do. Um, just grab all these faces, turn off my saw select, and I'll do that mesh. <gasps> Extract. Okay. And I'll just delete my history right away. And so now I'm going to have uh, this piece with, that's going to be my lens there. I'm just going to give that a quick extrude and pull it out a bit. And I could probably make sure it's rounded out. And if I hit three, we'll see how smooth it is and stuff. Um, if I go in here and I grab these faces that are wrapping around the outside, I can go and extrude them a little bit and pull them out just a tiny bit. And that means they're going to hold this, this lens shape together a bit more. Okay, good. And let's hit this whole thing. I'm going to extrude, and I'll just pull this the frame forward a bit. So I'm just going to grab my vertices here and pull them up, and 
hand over a little bit there, grab that face in the middle of it, Boop, and delete it. Okay, and if I want to pull um, the, uh, suddenly I'm a lot of loss of words for the side of the glasses here, but if I go to the, let's go to the side view, just take this here to uh, build this little arm out here. If I just go and hit extrude, and I switch from local to global, pull it back. You can see it's uh, pulling inside of his head. I'm going to pull it over this way a little bit. Okay, put it by his ear. And I'll go ahead and I'll extrude again. Oop. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of move this around here and then I'll hit extrude again. Okay, so there, I've just built that part of the glasses really, really quick. Uh, if I hit three, you might notice that it doesn't quite hold the shape well enough. Um, so I might go in and use my insert edge loop, and I'll pop a loop here, so it's going to hold the shape better there. And maybe around here, I'll just kind of quickly pop one there and there. That's going to hold my shape a bit better. And then even here with the, this part of the frames here, it just depends on what I want the glass to look like without getting too far into the details. That should be good. And what does that look like now? Okay, it's not too bad. And um, uh, I could take these two objects and um, kill the history, freeze the transformations. If I make sure that their pivot points are kind of in the same spot, so maybe I'll have the move tool on or the scale tool, whatever, DV, and I pop on my pivot point right here on the edge. And I go Control D, hold down J, boink, flip them over to the other side. Um, I might go in and freeze the transformations, kill their history. Um, and I could have mirrored these two, or I could have mirrored the, the frames anyway. <gasps> if I <clears throat> take these two and I go mesh, combine, and I kill the history, and then I grab the vertices here in the center, and I do a quick merge of components, and they're merged together. Yay! Okay, and I could even combine it or whatever I want to do with it. Um, for now, that's going to be good. And so there's glasses, and I think I'll save the rest for a bit later. Okay, I'm going to stop here.